So as with the last one, I'm going to be using a four and a half mil hook and iron weight yarn. Um, for some reason, my iron weight black, I can't find. So I am going to be using a double knit and um, putting two strands together just so that I can get the thickness of um, a base that I want. Okay, so here we go. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do a um, magic circle, first of all. And then within that magic circle, um, we are going to, sorry, going to have some thumbs. There you go. Hopefully you can see that well enough. So within the magic circle, we're putting 10 single crochets. tight and slip stitch to the first single crochet okay and I'm just gonna cut that off and join the red okay so it's still gonna be two rounds of the red but the way that we do it is slightly different to give us a smaller um a smaller looking poppy So I'm going to chain one and we're going to single crochet into the same space. And then we are going to put two half double crochets into the next space. And then in the next space, we're going to put two double crochets. And then a further two double in the next one, followed by two half double crochets in the next space. Then we're going to single crochet, followed by two half double crochets. So hopefully you can see that by doing this, what we're doing is we're bringing the sides in to create the uh, the two petals. So then we're going to do two double crochets, another two double crochets, and two half double crochets. And then we are going to slip stitch to the first single crochet. And that is round one done. So that's our first round. So for our second round, what we're going to do is we are going to slip stitch into the... So we're not making a chain at all. We're just going to slip stitch straight into the top of the half double crochet from before. We are not slip stitching into the, um, the same stitch. And we are now going to make single crochets all around. Um, so we're going to miss that one. And in the next stitch, we're going to put two single crochets. And we're going to repeat that. So another two. And another two. And another two. another two okay so then we've come to the end of that we're going back into the um, half double crochet so the the first half double crochet will will continue to have two in so I'll just go back and count how many we've got there so you've got two four six eight ten twelve single crochets um, <clears throat> And then what we're going to do is we're going to put one single crochet 
in the top of the second half double crochet we are going to slip stitch into the single crochet and then one single crochet in the next half double crochet and then again we're going to go around putting two into the top of each stitch so two single crochets at the top of each stitch coming to this so this is the lot at the two half double crochet so two in the first half double crochet one in the second half double crochet and then we are going to slip stitch we're going to miss that that stitch there which is that first slip stitch and we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch let me just cut that off. And then that gives us. Obviously, once we've tied all our ends in, are oh, slightly smaller. So, um, the last, my first one that I did. Um, if you look for it, I'll, I'll mark them up as large and small poppy and um, we're sort of palm sized so this one is um, definitely quite a bit smaller if you look there if I can get a picture of the two together I'll put them on um, so that is uh, the smaller poppy pin that and use that um, if you want to leave then please uh, feel free to carry along with me now we're going to start with a magic circle once again and for this one, we are going to single crochet, so there's no need to make another chain. And within the magic circle, we are going to single crochet 12 and then slip stitch. So one, two, three, four, five. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Shift some way around. So the second round we're going to make a half sorry we're going to slip stitch first and then we're going to make a half double crochet no chain straight into a half double crochet and then over the course of the next two we're going to put two double crochets into each of the next two stitches so And then in this one, so we've done half double crochet and then four double crochets, two in each of two stitches. And we're going to do three double crochets into this stitch. So one, two, three, chain two, slip stitch into the first chains. So the second from the hook. And then three double crochets. So one, two, three. And then we're going to repeat what we've done on this side. So two double crochets into each of the next two stitches. So two. And there's two. 
and then half double crochet into the next stitch and then we're going to slip stitch into the next one okay I'm just gonna cut that off and that is the leaf okay so I think that's quite a quite a nice leaf um I think it looks really pretty um and if you put it Obviously, you can decide where to put it. That probably goes that way. So you could put it here or or here. So it gives you enough of a uh, sorry. I see it there. It gives you enough of a hint of the leaf um, without you having to make a huge leaf. Um, but it's big enough for it to s sort of work well with the pattern. If you prefer a different style of leaf, then please feel free to make your own. Or as I say, you can leave it without. Um, so I just um, I'll sew all the ends in together, and you can see what it looks like all attached properly. So there we go, we have it finished off. Um, as I say, I've sewn my um, leaf on there, um, which is exactly how I like it. Um, but of course, you choose how you want to do yours.